Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin and today I'm going to be bringing you guys another New World video. We're going to be focusing on the hatchet weapon in New World. Today I'm going to be going over the abilities that the weapon has, as well as some suggested builds, some suggested pairings, and why I think that this weapon could potentially be one of the absolute best weapons in New World. If you do go on to enjoy this video and find it useful then please do leave a like on the video down below, and if you are enjoying New World and you would like to see more content and more of my content, then please do drop a subscribe down below with the notification bell on so that you don't miss a single upload. I'm going to be covering tons and tons of stuff, pretty much everything in the game, obviously over the next few coming weeks. So go ahead and make sure you subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any of that. And without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So first of all here, I'm going to go over the skills that the hatchet has on each side of its tree and what these skills do and kind of why the hatchet is actually really, really good for both PvE and PvP, which is really nice. My main setup for the hatchet at the moment in New World has been Berserk, which gives a ton of bugs when you level up the passives with it, which we will go over in just a moment, and they are very, very good. Gives you things like a speed boost, passive health regen, it's been absolutely excellent. I've then paired that with Feral Rush, which is a jump forward gap closer move, where you can go forward and you hit twice with your weapon. Now this again can have things added on with passives that make it even better, particularly for PvP, but this is a very, very good high damage move, which is really nice, and also, as well as a gap closer, it can be used to escape if you need to dodge some mobs, dodge a boss attack, or indeed dodge players. And finally, I pair this with the final Berserker skill, which is Raging Torrent. This hits the enemy four times for 90% of your weapon's damage very, very quickly, and it's really, really good for PvE, as it does do cone damage, so if there's two, three enemies in front of you, you're gonna hit all of them, and if you pair it with Berserk, where you do actually get a damage buff when that's active, then you activate Raging Torrent, you're gonna do a ton of damage. And this can also be upgraded when you get a passive, which can add a fifth attack to it, which is very, very good, because that attack actually does a little bit more damage, even and still, so it can be extra good for getting a ton of DPS out very, very quickly. To go in a bit more in depth into these skills, then Berserk has a 15 second cooldown after it expires, and it triggers a Berserk mode that increases all attack damage by 20% while active. Berserk mode will be active for 15 seconds, cooldown will trigger once Berserk ends. It is taunt gem compatible as well if you are wanting to gain some aggro, if you're going for a more tanky DPS type build, that is a thing you can do if you put a Carnelian gem onto that, then you you can go ahead and use it as a taunt ability as well, if that's something you're interested in. The passives for Berserk are what make it really, really special, and probably one of the best abilities in New World right now, which is what makes the hatchet super, super good. The first passive that you can get directly underneath it is called On The Hunt, and this increases your movement speed by 20% whilst in Berserk mode. Now, this is obviously really, really good for obviously moving around during battles, and being able to move around the fight very niftily, also, you know, kind of to catch people up in PvP, and to run away in PvP, PvE and PvE, really, really good ability, but on top of that, it can just be used as a movement mobility skill in general, kind of like the Fire Staff Jump and the Great Axe Lunge, it's one of those skills where you've got 15 seconds of 20% bonus speed whilst moving, so if you are running from one location to another, you can equip a hatchet, at least with a couple of levels on to get this ability, and you'll be able to run faster every 15 seconds or so for 15 seconds, which is really, really good, so definitely worth having on just as a utility skill as well as in for actual combat. The second passive that you can then get is called Berserk in Refresh. While Berserk is active, gain a portion of your health back every five seconds, and the amount of health gained increases by how long Berserk is active. So essentially, the first five seconds you get a certain amount of health, then a little bit more at 10 seconds, and the final biggest amount at 15 seconds, as that is how long the entire buff is active for. This is really, really good, as it's basically one of the only cell heals in the game, obviously other than the life staff, and it does give you a decent chunk of HP back. I've got around 2.2k HP, at the moment in game, and the first heal gives me about 217 health back, then around 240, and then around 265 for the final one. So, all in all, around about 7 to 800 HP back by the time that Berserk has finished its 15 seconds, which is actually a really decent amount. And stacked up with food or potions, you can see a ton of self sustain in a lot of content. And I've been able to defeat a lot of monsters, a lot of bosses, all that kind of things that I probably wouldn't have been able to do if I wasn't using the hatchet. So, it is definitely, definitely good. And not to mention in PvP, People will chase you down thinking at your low health if you're running away with this active. Bear in mind you've got the speed buff as well. You can run faster, get a good bit of distance, dodge any ranged abilities that they've got. You're going to be healing up while you do that and then you can re-engage with some of the other abilities that we're going to go on to talk about as well. So it's a super, super good thing. You've then got the third passive underneath it which is actually called Berserking Purge. This means that triggering Berserk removes all crowd control effects, so stuns, slows, roots, etc. from the player. So as soon as you trigger your Berserk effect, this will obviously give 
give you the speed boost from the start one, providing that you've got all of these in order. You then get the heal ability from the second one, and you now get rid of all of your CC abilities that are on you. So if you're stunned, rooted, slurred, anything like that, pop your berserk, you can run faster, you get rid of all of those, and you can heal. It's stacking up to be a pretty good ability already, but there is still more. This final passive fall directly onto the berserk tree here is called Uninterruptible Berserk. And this says, while in berserk, your attacks are uninterruptible during berserk, and you cannot be staggered. So essentially, if you pop berserk, obviously you get all of the other benefits I've mentioned there, but if you are getting, going to pair it with Raging Torrent, or Feral Rush, you can go ahead and do these and you will not be able to be interrupted during these attacks. So in other words, if you do stack up the passives for this one, you're going to be uninterruptible, healing, moving faster, you'll get rid of any slows that are on you, and you're going to be able to attack freely for a few seconds it's a very, very, very good ability, and that is, you know, kind of why the hatchet is so good in New World right now, is because of this ability right here. Now, paired with some of the other ones, this makes it even better, so we're going to go on and talk about those ones too. Another passive that I have got just down the end of the tree here, you'll see it on screen, it's called Frenzied Purge, and this is when hitting an enemy while your health is below 30%, it removes all bleed, burn, poison, dots, or damage over time, that stands for effects from the player, and this has a 60 second cooldown. So if you've got below 30% health and you do hit a player, you can go ahead and activate this and it will remove all the dots that you've got on you currently, which is really, really nice because it means when people have burned their abilities on you, got you to low HP, you can attack somebody and pop berserk and you're going to heal them back up. You've got rid of all of those stuff. Plus you're going to get rid of all your CCs and you can see very easily how this hatchet stacks up to be a very, very good weapon. It's also really, really good for PVE, particularly in the expeditions when there's a ton of mobs dropping kind of dots here and there, dropping a lot of attacks on you. You're going to have yourself sustained, very, very sorted out, and you're going to get rid of dots if you do get low, which is super, super useful. So that's one I have grabbed further down the tree table there as well. Then got, like I mentioned there, the Feral Rush ability, which, like I said, is a sprinting melee that causes the player to leap forward, hitting twice. The first hit deals 115% of your damage, and the second hit deals 130% of your weapon damage. So a very hard hitting ability. And then finally, I use Raging Torrent, which obviously performs four attacks each dealing 90% of your damage but it does perform these very very quickly so it's like rapid attacks which is really really good. Now with Raging Torrent you can actually get something called Aggressive Approach which is a passive that adds onto this and that is hitting a target with Raging Torrent grants haste increasing movement speed by 20% for six seconds which is really really nice so you can use this as a catch up or a getaway if you do want to as well as an extra bonus one and then you can get the passive after that which is called Final Blow which is pressing light attack at the end of your Raging Torrent to deal a final attack dealing 120% weapon damage. So essentially adding a fifth quick attack there, which deals a ton of damage at the end of the chain of events, which is really, really nice for a ton of outgoing damage in DPS with the Berserker build. Now also each weapon and each tree has a ultimate ability, if you like, down the bottom here, which is a circle all in of its own. And on the Berserker tree, this one is called Defy Death. And yes, it is what it says on the tin. It's a very good ability whereby when you receive lethal damage, you avoid death, reducing yourself to 50 HP and you gain immortality for three seconds now this is on a 75 second cooldown so you can't continue to spam it which is nice but a lot of times in pvp when people think they've killed you and then you suddenly pop up run away pop berserk as you're running away in those three seconds heal up a little bit of health come back in with all of those buff debuffs removed and things it's a very, very, very good combo for PvP, and in PvE, it means that you're not going to be able to die quite as easily. If you do get low in a dungeon, you get blocked in by mobs, you can pop this, get out of the way whilst the aggro has gone to somebody else, or you've managed to just kill one of those mobs quickly. Also gives you a chance to pop your Berserk, like I said, there to get the heal off, which is a really, really nice opportunity. Also, with Feral Rush, you can get a passive down at the bottom of that passive tree there, which actually immobilizes your target for two seconds if you land your hits on them, which again is really, really good as a gap close for PvP because you are able to catch them up, hit them twice and immobilize them and then pop any other abilities that you do want to and it's going to be a really good bit of burst nuke damage. You've then on the throwing side of the tree got Rending Throw which is where you throw an axe dealing 110% weapon damage and applying Rend which reduces the target's absorption by 10% for 10 seconds. So essentially gives you a 10% damage buff against that target for 10 seconds which is super good for PvP and very very nice for any particularly hard enemies in PvE as well. You've then got the second ability on the throw 
scoring tree which is called social distancing very apt at the moment and this one is where you throw an axe forward and dodge backwards dealing 130% weapon damage and slowing targets by 15% for 3 seconds. Finally on the throwing tree you have infected throw which is throw an axe that deals 150% weapon damage and triggers disease and weakens target. Now disease reduces the target's healing efficiency by 30% and weaken reduces the target's damage by 10%. This is really really good in PvE as it can reduce a boss's damage or a particularly difficult mob's damage and give them weakness for a little bit as well as disease which is really really good and it can help you kill them a lot quicker but in PvP it's not quite as good because basically it's got a very long charge up compared to the rending throw which is an instant cast which means that you can be interrupted or you can be stunned or indeed just take a lot of damage whilst you are casting this one which makes it a little bit less viable in PvP options. So the PvE build that I would recommend for the hatchet is going to actually be the berserker tree which you'll see me running in all of the gameplay in the background of today's video. This is my build that I've been rocking since the start of this launch. I've really enjoyed it and it works super super well. You're going to want to have berserk, feral rush and raging torrent all equipped. Berserk obviously gives you all the perks that I talked about in the beginning and obviously that self heal is super super useful. That paired with feral rush you're able to close the gap and you're able to dodge away from mobs when you do need to and then finally paired with raging torrent to drop a ton of DPS hitting those four to five very fast swings is going to be super super useful and you're going to see a ton of DPS coming out of that very very nicely so that's definitely the build I would recommend for PvE if you focus more on PvP with the hatchet then you're going to want to go for berserk feral rush and social distancing berserk obviously you've got your speed buff which is means that pretty much no one's going to get away from you and you're going to be able to get away from people if you do need to as well if you do end up getting ganked by a ton of players it also gives you that heal and potential to get rid of CC which is really really nice you've then also got your potential CC from feral rush if you do actually invest in those passives where you can immobilize the target for two seconds which makes that a very very good thing as well as being an excellent gap closer or escape if you do need to use it for that as well and finally social distancing is absolutely great for baiting abilities you throw an axe forward which can hit them so they're going to try and dodge that then it'll probably bait out abilities so they're going to try and hit you with melee stuff while you're doing that and at the same time your character is going to be jumping back so you're going to bait out some abilities if you do invest a point into aim throw on the throwing tree as well that means you can throw axes at the enemy and this will give you a couple of seconds to get a decent bit of damage off of these thrown axes as well or indeed you can go backwards and eat food or drink potions to heal up a little bit to come back into the fight with a lot more health and be ready to for the next fight there as well it'll also give you time if you haven't already popped berserk to jump backwards pop that get your heal going get rid of all your debuffs that kind of thing and get some movement speed if you do need to get a bit of distance there to rebalance the fight for you now finally i want to talk about attributes and the best things that you can pair with the hatchet because this is kind of like where the synergy aspect of attributes and weapons come into play in new worlds you will see that the hatchet scales from both strength and dexterity so that means that it's good to be paired with any weapons that are from a similar field now when a weapon is scaling off two abilities it is 0.9 percent times the points you put in for the first ability so in other words every point i put into strength the damage will scale for 0.9 percent from that and then for every point i put into the secondary one so in the case of the hatchet the dexterity it'll be 0.65 percent damage if a weapon only has one attribute from which it scales off obviously it is just one for one there so this means that if you pair it with something like the great axe which only scales off strength you can go ahead and throw most of your points into strength there as it is going to increase the damage of both the great axe by a massive amount and the hatchet by a decent amount and you can put a couple into dexterity as well because that does scale the hatchet but if you focus on strength with a strength only attributed weapon like the great axe you're going to benefit both your weapons massively off that so it's something to consider when you're looking at pairings another great pairing for this is the warhammer as again this is just purely off strength you've then got the sword and shield as this is strength and dexterity exactly the same as the hatchet or you could do the bow which is simply dexterity and then stack points into dexterity or like me you could go with the spear however the spear is the same stats but in reverse order so its main stat is dexterity secondary stat is strength which is why you've kind of seen me got 50 and 50 i am still working out kind of what to pair this with the best but the great axe i've tried out and it works really well the spear seems to be working really well for right now so maybe give that a go if you do want to as well but one other thing that you do want to be aware of is actually the 50 point attribution bonuses so as you can see here every 50 points you do get a bonus on the dexterity that's critical straight chance on the first one a little bit of harvesting speed there and then on the strength one it's light attack damage and a bit of mining speed so it kind of depends what you want to go for in terms of the attributes you can go along every 50 points there is a big dot marker you can go ahead and hover over the gray versions of these to see what you would unlock if you get the points in that area so you can go ahead and plan which one you want to stack on based off that and if there's certain things that you really want off that tree it might be worth picking a weapon that scales off that damage to pair 
there with the hatchet so you can go ahead and then make sure that those weapons are really making the most out of those attribution points that you are putting in. Hopefully this video has helped you guys to understand why the hatchet is super super good in New Worlds right now and why it's probably my favourite and an absolute ton of fun to use around the game for utility, for PvE, for PvP and pairing it with something like the Spear or the Great Axe is going to see you do a ton of damage very very quickly which is really really nice. Now if you've got any questions following this video just drop them down in the comments below. I'll be sure to answer as many of those as I possibly can and obviously if anybody else has got any other tips and tricks surrounding the hatchet be sure to drop them down below as well. Like I said at the beginning of this video if you have enjoyed today's video and found it useful please do drop me a like down below as that really would help me out and if you are new to the channel and you would like to see more new world content I'm going to have absolutely tons of content coming soon so make sure you do subscribe with notification bells on so you don't miss out on that and other than that as always thank you very much for watching take care and peace.